Hello, everybody, and welcome to my review of the LEGO Star Wars 2013 Clone Troopers vs. Droid Ecas. In the United States, this retails for $12.99, which is a pretty weird price, uh, considering we don't get that much here in 2021. The set number is 75000 and is ages 6 and up, and includes 124 pieces. So, uh, the set does include your main thing that you're probably going to be buying this for is the speeder right here, which we're going to get into a little bit. And it comes with two droidicas that are exactly the same. Uh, but yeah, we'll look into that a little bit more. And it comes with two minifigures being two exclusive, or not exclusive, but, uh, clone troopers. So, uh, that's pretty much it. So the first minifigure up is uh, this clone. I'm not sure what he is, but he is green. I forgot the name again. I, I just keep forgetting there's so many clones. But he does come with a pair of binoculars, of course. And he does have, like, this olive green color. Of course, this one isn't in perfect condition because, I mean, that was a long time ago in 2013, but, um, yet again, uh, he doesn't have any leg printing, uh, the much later versions did. Here, the back, you can see nice printing, and for his helmet, uh, it's just sadly another one of those weird, angry clone faces that we keep getting, but there's not much to say, uh, he's just another olive green clone trooper, uh, not much. Here is the second minifigure and the final one. We only get two. Uh, this is a battle pack, though, so you're going to be building that clone army quite uh, significantly, but not as quick as uh, your previous battle packs, like the 501st or something like that. But you do this is just a normal clone trooper. Um, he is a little bit different from this one over here. But, um, uh, other than that, he is just another normal white clone trooper, no leg printing for this one. And he does come with that medium-sized blaster, he's not going to come with any binoculars. And then the same back printing as the, uh, green clone trooper. And then under that helmet is just going to be another angry clone face. Again, just a normal clone trooper, but a really, really solid, uh, minifigure to add your collection. So we are just going to be starting off with the two droid egos that we get in this set. Um, I'm really glad we actually get two instead of one that really just uh, builds up the clone army pretty quickly. Uh, the same rate of uh, how your clone troopers are going, but you're getting the same. So it's they're both going to be really, really identical. So uh, you get these three legs on the bottom with these nice silver claws. And I must say... These Rodicas don't really look that nice just because, uh, they look really squished. Like, they look like they're gonna take a nap or something. Like, they're sleeping while they're standing up. Uh, it just looks really, really odd. You do have these two cannons at the top here of the head, and then you have two, uh, normal blasters at the front. Uh, I haven't tried it yet, but you might be able to roll them in a ball. Not sure how you would do that, but I mean, I, I suppose you could do it like this, but I'm not sure, but uh, again, they're just the same, so. Uh, this is going to be building up your Droidica army quite substantially, but it's not like uh, Droidicas are the best thing in the world. Here is the speeder you get in the set, and it actually is, uh, uh, it's just pretty much the same size I thought it would be. It's just like, uh, it actually uh, fits two of your clone troopers, which is really nice. So, uh, you get, uh, plenty of space for all of your minifigures in the set. So you're not gonna have some just standing off to the side. As you can see, you can just sit them right in here pretty snug and they won't fall out because they're sitting on two studs. Um, but I will have to say you are going to have to take them out pretty harshly and the legs might come off because he is sitting on four studs in that space. But uh, you probably saw, you can open these doors right here, and uh, you have this really nice technique. And then you have a printed piece right there. And then um, you have a few slots for your blasters, so if you want to place this Clone Trooper's blaster in here, you can. This one is just on standby, so it didn't come with the clone, it just came in with the speeder itself. And then probably, like, the main feature of the set is you can actually open up this hatch here or something like that, 
And then right here in the back, flick fire missile. And you can just send it off. The flick fire missiles really suck though because they're not really that good for uh, missling anything. They can really all they're gonna do is just hit your clone troopers in the in the back of the head, which is really uh, kind of odd. And then you have this thing right here. I'm not sure what this is. I really think this gives it a much more worse look if you take it off. You know, it looks meh. And if you don't have that, eh, it looks all right. So. I think, um, it doesn't really look good either way, with or without this. So, um, I really don't modify my set, so I'm never going to be taking this off. But, uh, there's not much to say about this speeder. You know, it's all around smooth right here. And, um, yeah, there's actually, what I found with this set is there is no of these bottom, like, uh, 2 by 2 cylindrical tiles, so... Uh, if you're playing with it, like maybe kids, if they're playing it with it on like a wooden table, uh, th it might scratch the table a little, which is really unfortunate. But uh, I really wish Lego did something with the bottom but here, but they didn't, which is fine, I suppose. But that's pretty much it for the speeder. So, in my opinion, uh, I give this set a 7 out of 10. Now, uh, th they are clone troopers after all, so you're probably just going to be buying the set for these guys right here. But, um, other than that, I really think the Droidicas, uh, could have used a bit taller heads than they already have, because they're really smushed. Same with the flick fire missile part about it, and, uh, how this might scratch a table, but that is pretty much it. Uh, if you guys liked the video, make sure to leave a like, and make sure to subscribe for more future LEGO Star Wars content, and I will see you in the next video. Peace out.